When operators or maintenance personnel need access to process sensitive equipment that poses a hazard, the machines must stop. Yet the truth is, many manufacturers view any safety system as a necessary evil driven by safety requirements. Machine safety systems have become increasingly complex with multiple components and processes to manage risk. Yet companies often buy safety components piecemeal, with little or no thought to the impact on compatibility or system integration. The result is a hodgepodge of guards, lockouts and other devices, procedures and processes. Each may add an incremental element of safety, but together these add-ons may create unnecessary tasks, impede operations and reduce productivity. And who gets blamed? The technology, of course. And when an automated safety system is seen as unreliable or difficult to manage, it may get bypassed or disabled. And instead of having an integrated, safer solution, there's a default back to operator-dependent manual alternatives. Processes which, by their very nature, are cumbersome, misunderstood, and subject to human failure. And add wear and tear with every stop and start. Now let's look at an example of a rational alternative for process-sensitive equipment. The goal here is to negate the need to stop the robot mid-task every time an operator needs access to the cell, eliminate the material scrap that such a stop creates, avoid the downtime of lengthy restart procedures, and ultimately create a safer working environment that's easier to navigate. Typically, the only way to electrically lock a door like this would be to use a safety category 1 solenoid switch. This door is locked with a process-controlled electromagnet, the Magna 1A. This separates the safety function from the process function and, as a result, increases the machine reliability and uptime. To enter the cell, a request to enter push button is cycled. This tells our robot to go home or to a safe position after it completes its task. Once it's there, an Eden safety sensor monitors its position and sends a signal to unlock the door. We can now open the door. And since we know exactly where the robot is, there's no need to cycle any outputs, contactors, control relays, solenoid, or valves. Bottom line, longer machine life. The Eden safety sensor on the door is mounted to a product called SafeSlide. This is a unique safety locker system that's engineered to provide safe entry and exit while preventing the accidental reset of the machine. You'll also notice the floor is covered in pressure sensitive mats. This also prevents accidental reset. It also addresses the robot standard that calls for additional safeguards when the reset button can't be placed where there is a clear view of the entire work area. Once the in-cell work is done, a simple reset signal initiates the machine operation, eliminating the recovery time from a mid-task stop. An integrated safety solution like the one you just saw has the power to do great things. Reduce the chances of human error. Increase machine uptime for greater productivity raise the level of safety from Category 1 to Category 4 and makes it possible for general tasks to be performed without the need for lockout tagout. We hope you find this information useful and that it helps open the door to a smarter way of looking at machine safety. Thanks for listening.